Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth World Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 23rd to the 29th of December 2019. I hope you're well Scorpio and Merry Christmas as it's Christmas week. Hope you've all done your Christmas shopping. <laughs> so I am just pulling an overarching tarot card to see what the message is for you the week, for the week. So angel spirits, guides, what do we have for Scorpio, please? I thought that was going to fall out then. Message for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Wow, Scorpio, we have judgment. So this is a powerful card. This is a big awakening awakening to self it comes from allowing a release of things that cling to you that you no longer need old experiences old wounds it is a time to release and judgment says it's time to release because you've learned the lessons there's a higher knowledge a higher spiritual awareness that comes from the life lessons that you've learned to this point now this is also a big karma, you know, positive karma being on your side. You know, that can be involving, you know, wrongs being righted, all of this energy, giving things up to the universe, let go of what's holding you back, what is stopping you from stepping into the light now, stepping out of darkness into the light. This is a real awakening of the souls, a rising of the souls to be judged. And judgment is saying, as you're judged by actions that you have towards other people, so people are judged for their actions towards you. The universe always writes itself. So any lack of or ill treatment that you might have received or any, any unfairness that you might have experienced, this is now, now is the time to release. Let that go. Give it to the universe to deal with. Because the universe does always write itself in the end. It might not be when you know about it. And it generally comes at the time when people least expect it, I have to say. But it always writes itself in the end. So, powerful card. This is the wake-up call. Time to step into your light, your true self. Beautiful card. It can also involve a decision or a choice, a final decision or a choice that you need to make. Sometimes it can talk about a second chance as well. I will put that in there too. So that might resonate for some of you as well. And it is a final decision because it's something that probably won't come round again. But it is a card of Pluto. The death, the, the planet of death, destruction, regeneration. Being regenerated, restored in your own light. Releasing what's gone. It's a rebirth card. Beautiful energy. Did we not have that for your spiritual message? I'm sure we did. I'm sure judgment featured in that message from Spirit Reading for January 2020. Well, it's appearing again. <laughs> okay, what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides, for Scorpio? Uh, next week, so 23rd to the 29th of December 2019. Yeah, oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> you are being given divine support, divine guidance, very much links with karma. You're being guided forward. It is just allowing yourself to be carried by it. Open up to it, Scorpio. This is beautiful. Okay, let's see what the angels have to say. The angels, what is the message for Scorpio, please? 23rd to the 29th of December 2019. Message for Scorpio, please. You're being told to choose a new direction. 
Some of you might be thinking about doing something new. This is about opening your mind to new possibilities as well. In whatever area of your life, not approaching the same situation in the same way, looking at things in the same way, the same light. This is about looking at things differently. This can even be to find a solution in your life to something. Look at things in a different light, very hanged man energy, in order to find that solution. It's approaching things in a different way. But certainly for some of you, there, there could be a new beginning. But it could be something that is, something that you might not have thought about, something that could be unexpected. It's about being open to receive that. Beautiful. Okay, Scorpio, so this week I am going to use the Marchetti decks. I just felt more connected to them this morning. Um, so this is the, the Grand Lux Tarot by Marchetti, and this is the Tarot of Dreams. And I'm going to clarify with the Legacy Tarot. So all of them are Marchetti decks. They work well together as energies. in delivering the message, so beautiful message, beautiful cards to deliver messages, I have to say. Okay, wow, ten of coins in your past position. Now, it is what, you know, I do put these cards in categories. The messages might mean more to you, really. You might be at different life stages. Ten of coins is a really beautiful card. So, past position, ten of coins, Scorpio. So present position. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we have judgment. Wow, this is a big awakening. This is really a wake-up call for some of you. Your challenge, ten of wands. Advice from spirit. Oh my, this is beautiful, the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment card. This is in the advice from Spirit, saying it's possible. And the outcome, Scorpio. <gasps> the Ace of Swords, did we not have this last, when I did this as well, when I did the Spirit Message cards? Oh my goodness, Ace of Swords, stand in your truth. This is also that perspective could be linked with choose a new direction. Everything becoming clear. Realisation. Okay, Scorpio, let's clarify the cards on the table. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio? Oh, that flipped over. Okay, we have the Seven of Coins. So, I'm going to pull one more for that card. I think there's something missing. Nine of Coins. Yeah. Okay. Judgment. Present position is clarified by the Ace of Wands. I'm going to pull one more for that, Scorpio, just for clarity. Oh my goodness, we've got the full two new beginnings. Ten of Wands in your challenge position is clarified by the Two of Coins. Pull one more. Three of Swords. The Nine of Cups, the advice from Spirit, is clarified by the Four of Wands. Beautiful. 
I'm going to pull one more. King of Swords. And the Ace of Swords, Scorpio. Your outcome is clarified by the Seven of Swords. And <laughs> we have the Nine of Cups again, the Wish Fulfillment card again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Scorpio, this is really interesting because some of the cards are quite similar to what came out in the Spirit Messages reading for some of you. I feel for some of you, you know, if this is to do with relationships, the coins, the coins can be linked with relationships, they can also be linked with money, career, so it is a general reading, so I'm going to try and be as, as, as wide as possible as I can with a description for some of you, but this can be about a solid relationship that can go the distance, it forms part of your foundation, and yet the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who is independent, after having gone through some kind of review, life review, life evaluation, because the Seven of Pentacles is, are you getting back what you put into something? It is where you're spending your time and effort. Is it worth it? Is it bringing you value? Now, for some of you, I just feel that that, certainly on the, on the relationship front, some of you may have chosen to be on your own because something wasn't giving you the... You weren't getting back what you were putting into something. Now, certainly in terms of, of money and career, this can be the stages that you go through in order to further yourself in terms of money and career as well. Again, this is a card of good things come to those that are patient, that those that await. And because it is a Saturnian energy, sometimes with the seven of coins, it can be frustrating. Things don't build or uh, feel as fulfilling as you want them to. You feel you're spending a lot of effort into something and not getting much back. And this is where you need to really look at your time, your efficiency of time, where you're, where you're spending your time and where you're wasting it. What are you wasting it on where you're not getting something back? Now, that can be in career and money. Some of you are looking at new careers to be more valued or to be paid more for what you do. Um, can be in relationships as well, that evaluation. And certainly for some of you, I mean, you know, both of these cards in terms of money and career, talk about real abundance and um, real stability real achievement is possible but you have to do the evaluation first you have to look at what's working for you and what's not where you're being given the recognition for your time and effort and where you're not so I think I feel one feeds into the other so that's interesting There are new beginnings here for some of you. Now, the, the Ace of Wands can be new beginnings to connect you to your passions, um, which could be to do with love or, you know, people you have chemistry with or all of that kind of energy. It could also be to do with uh, business and career in particular as well. The Ace of Wands is ready to grow, but you have to put in the effort. That's what the Spirit is saying. The Ace of Wands is pure potential for success in a situation to fulfill your passions but you need to understand your own power to make it grow, your own potential to make it grow. Um, and it takes effort. But my goodness, is the Ace of Wands rewarding. It is a message of fulfilling your passions. And I certainly feel with the, foot, with the fool being here, it is don't fear taking a chance. Now might be the time to take a leap of faith on something that will fulfill your passions. Put it in the effort, allow your, dri allow your drive, um, your energy, your passion to just guide you forward because you are being divinely supported. And I feel for some of you, this is a wake up call to step into the new, which interestingly enough was in the spirit messages reading as well. It's time to embrace the new. So it's good that, I mean, we've got the new as well with the Ace of Swords at the end. So it's good that you are getting the same messages in that respect, embrace the new. Don't fear, there's no fear with the fool. And this is somebody who is being enlightened as well. They're getting a bigger perspective. That's why the world is there, because the fool is, is ruled by Uranus, god of the sky. 
you know, you have that, not just a bird's eye perspective, which is the king of swords, but this is somebody who has seen not just a big picture, but the whole world, you know, um, everything in its place, everything in context. So I, I feel for some of you that now is the time you have higher enlightenment being given to you. I, I certainly feel from God, the universe, the divine, and it is time to embrace the energies of, of new beginnings, changes, new starts, new chapters for some of you, because it's here could be linked with an opportunity or a person. The ones is very much linked to a connection or an opportunity. But it is potential. You have to make it real. And it comes from awakening to your true self. I feel this revolutionary energy, which is the fool, the rebel energy, going your own way. Um, taking that leap of faith, taking that chance is very much because you're awakening to who you are. You're releasing what's been constraining you of the past, which is old experiences, old uh, wounds from the past, things that you don't need anymore because you've learned the lessons from them and grown as a person as a result of that. Grown to a higher spiritual awareness of self and the people around you or the world around you. So this is somebody who has got a higher perspective, who is understanding now the route that they need to take to move forward. But this is positive karma, so I do feel whatever this opportunity is, if it is an opportunity, it is, it is guided to you. And it is now the time to take advantage, that is the wake-up call. Take that leap of faith, take that chance, because it is divinely guided. It might be that choice that you need to make, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity whatever that however that manifests for some of you that promises real growth your challenge is to understand what's getting in the way the ten of wands can be a card of burdens carrying weights but it is a 10. When a 10 appears in tarot, it's something end, ending. Um, and I feel for some of you, now is the time to release burdens that no longer serve you. Judgment is appearing twice. So it's a big message of let go. And it's not just, oh, let go. It, it is because you've learnt what you needed to learn from this experience. Whatever this was, whether it was heartbreak or deep hurts from somebody or a situation or people, the Three of Swords here, that cut deep, this would have cut deep, and overcoming this has been a challenge because, you know, you're struggling to allow yourself to find balance, you know, um, the Two of Coins is somebody who struggles to find balance, to allow themselves to move forward, bring in the new, almost, because this is very much Jupiter in Capricorn, good things, um, the promise of good things around you, but to, to make the most of them now, but this person is, is still feeling a little bit unbalanced or unsure about their situation and it's because you're holding on to whatever this is, the Three of Swords. Now this can be in relationships, this can also be deep hurts in the workplace with people that you trust, friendships, wider families. Whatever this is, it's a big card of saying now is the time to move forward. You see, I just feel that, you see that, the, not going on traditional meanings, but you know, this wheel is, is raking up all the water on this lake. Um, and you almost like have this cycle effect, you know, the circle, the rainbow going around it. And I feel for some of you, you know, you're just keeping yourself exactly where you are. You're not making any progress because you have to be open to the new now for some of you because the new wants to come into your life and that's why judgment has appeared in order to say release it's time spirit is saying your hopes dreams and wishes are here your heart's desire to be fulfilled on every level of your life is here that's the nine of cups real fulfillment on every level of your life real happiness somebody who has worked hard to achieve every single one of those cups. They are like trophies for this person because they're proud of their achievements. It's taken a lot of effort to get where they are, certainly with the Ace of Wands being in your reading, and to come through this situation. The 
King of Swords is somebody who is getting perspective on a situation. Now, it can also talk about karma as well, karmic justice, truths, earthly justice, truths come into light, as can the Ace of Swords. So, I feel for some of you, if you've been ill-treated or ill-judged, um, karma is is absolutely on your side. I really am feeling that energy quite strong. Yeah, two judgment cards. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the King of Swords. These are all linked to real justice, um, earthly justice. That is the King of Swords as well. Earthly fairness, wrongs being righted, truth coming out. And I feel for some of you, this can be you standing in the light of truth. Now, this can also be getting a higher perspective on a situation on your path forward as well very much linking in with the fool energy again this is an aquarius energy aquarius is ruled by uranus so again the cards are kind of all linking together saying you're getting high getting a higher perspective in order to make decisions and choices even communicate your position clearly in terms of conversations now now there could be an aquarius coming into your life that is bringing your hopes dreams and wishes to reality in whatever area of your life that represents the ones, like I said, they can be in your passions, in your home life, and this is the happy home card. But it can also be about the achievements in business that bring the happy home as well, getting to a milestone of success. Um, so whatever this is for you, Aquarius, really, but certainly for some of you, this is where you're getting a level of success and solidity in your life that you've been striving for. Spirit is saying it's possible. Could be linked with somebody that you might be meeting. But nevertheless, the energy is about perspective, choice, decisions, truth, communication. Beautiful. Yeah, I just feel for some of you. I mean, look at this. Seven of, so Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords. You are getting a perspective on somebody or deception in your life. I feel somebody has deceived you. I think somebody has been less than truthful to some of you. This Seven of Swords is a card of deception, lack of truth, underhandedness, subversiveness, all of that kind of energy. And I feel you're seeing the truth of the situation. There is a realization here for some of you. The Ace of Swords is a realization. A big realization, you know? Breaking of the clouds realization. And I just think, that, I just feel for some of you, you're seeing the truth of somebody. Now, this can be about our own self sabotage as well. I'm not really feeling that energy, uh, Scorpio. It's, it's just not. It's not an energy that I'm feeling at the moment, but it can be where we hold ourselves back from new beginnings. But really, I just see you standing in that truth. The truth is on your side. This is an empowering energy. This is where you are being given the, your crown by God, the universe, the divine, your victory crown. Victory, overcoming challenge, overcoming obstacles, whatever this two of pentacles, ten of, ten of wands, three of swords energy was. You're overcoming it now, and it's been challenging. It's a warrior sword. You've had to fight to get here. And that's not just external energy. This is in your mind as well. To really get clarity on where you need to be, the decisions that you need to make. Again, communication that you need to have, all of this kind of energy. You might be cutting ties with somebody who could be unsavory. But it's leading to this. Your hopes, dreams and wishes coming true. Because I feel for some of you, it's all worth it in the end. Overcoming your challenge is all worth it in the end and you're being asked to step into your light now. A new chapter. This is a new chapter. Um, it's no mean feat, this has been really tough, and this is a new chapter for some of you. Release the burdens, cut them free, you know, because there is a new beginning here, there is a new beginning here, 
there is a new beginning here. So, and I think it's in the light of truth being on your side. Realization. All because of judgment, that awakening that you might experience. Or might be experienced in the course of, of next week. But, you know, like I said, the spirit messages was quite similar to this. Um, but this is where you're getting your hopes, dreams and wishes coming true. By releasing what you need to release, by getting perspective on what you need to get perspective on, you're overcoming your own internal um, limitations, your own internal imbalances, your own internal burdens. Let them go. Judgment is saying you don't need them, let them go. They're not serving you anymore. In fact, they're weighing you down, they're slowing you on your path. Beautiful reading, Scorpio, but very powerful. I think this is linked to self-esteem as well sometime. Getting your own self-esteem, self-worth back on track. That comes from judgment and those two. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Precious time, what was I saying? Time. Seven of Pentacles, time. This is linked to Saturn. Kronos, the god of time. Precious time. The fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste the time of others either. I don't think you'll be doing that. <laughs> I think you are focused on what is giving you value now and what isn't. Um, and I do think you are moving on to the new. Now we are going from the end of one year into the next year so that can link in with this this reading as well for some of you a lot of parties and celebrations happening too that is the nine of cups but nevertheless I mean you could be meeting somebody at a party actually um but nevertheless this is that big new beginning huge for some of you I hope you enjoyed the reading Scorpio if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful week for you and have a lovely Christmas and I will see you next time thank you